In the previous video, I created an OEE monitoring system using direct queries from the WT32 ETH01 board to PostgreSQL database. In this video, however, I'll be using Modbus TCP instead. Let's dive into the concept. Similar to the previous video, the relay will be connected to the GPIO pin of the board to trigger the machine status. This board will act as a Modbus TCP server with configuration for four coil registers corresponding to the machine conditions, start, downtime, output, and defect. By utilizing an Ethernet connection, it will be connected to the network. Meanwhile, I'll utilize Node-RED as the Modbus TCP client to read the status of coil registers on the board. Subsequently, it will execute queries to record data into the database based on the conditions of the coil registers. In addition to serving as the backend for reading Modbus and recording data into the database, Node-RED also functions as the OEE monitoring dashboard. Alongside Node-RED, I'm utilizing Grafana as another OEE monitoring dashboard. Similar to the previous video, here are the components used to create the OEE monitoring system using the Modbus TCP method. The main component is the WT32 ETH01 board with embedded Ethernet protocol. The micro USB power adapter is used to power up the board. Additionally, buttons are utilized as relay simulations to indicate machine conditions such as start, downtime, output counter, and defect counter. An Ethernet cable is also utilized for communication with the network. Here's the Arduino code I used. I utilized the Arduino Modbus library to configure the Modbus TCP server. To set up Modbus TCP communication on the WT32 ETH01 board, please watch my previous video. I won't be sharing the code used in this video. If you're interested in the OEE concept I've created, please send me an email. Here's the node red flow I've used. I've utilized the Modbus read node to read four coil register addresses from the Modbus TCP server. Please make sure to input the correct IP address of the TCP server. The payload obtained from reading the coil registers on the Modbus node will be stored in flow variables named start, stop, output, and defect. Next, I declare the machine ID for the machine status. In this example, the machine ID is 1. Next, check the status of each condition to see if there's any change from the previous status using switch node, and then recording the data into the table used for OEE monitoring. Let's take a look at the OEE monitoring system using the Grafana dashboard. When the start button is pressed, the machine status changes to run. The time for refreshing is set to 5 seconds, so there will be a 5 second delay in the status change on the dashboard. When the output button is pressed, the output quantity will increase, and we can observe the performance value increasing, consequently raising the OEE value as well. Next, when the stop or downtime button is pressed, the machine status changes to stop, indicating downtime has occurred. Consequently, the availability will decrease. Furthermore, when the defect button is pressed, the number of defects will be recorded. We can observe a decrease in the quality value due to the increase in the defect quantity. This defect counter results from sorting the output values. In conclusion, this video showcased the implementation of an OEE monitoring system using Modbus TCP with Node-RED and Grafana. By utilizing simulation buttons, 
we observe changes in machine status and performance parameters such as availability, performance, and quality. With this system, real-time monitoring and analysis of operational efficiency are possible, providing valuable insights for enhancing manufacturing productivity and quality. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.